Nothing will ever change. I'm stuck on this train forever. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for kids' shows with surprisingly dark premises. Spoilers may be ahead. Time for your dissection. Uh, hey guys. Number 20. Genetically conjoined animals navigate life in a world populated by humanoids. Cat dog. Sometimes siblings may feel like they're joined at the hip, but that saying is very literal when it comes to cat dog. The premise of the cat and dog brothers being fused together isn't the only thing that might creep out viewers. The show had many unsettling episodes like Meet Dog's Friends, where Dog decides to turn vegetarian after learning how meat is made. They make animals out of meat? I've been eating animals! See, you learn something new every day. While it's a noble lifestyle change, it traumatizes Dog when he hallucinates sentient meats who torment him. Another recurring element of the show is the ridicule that Cat Dog faces. <laughs> nice bucket funnel face! <sighs> As usual, you're a paragon of sensitivity. For your information, this is a bona fide medical device. They're constantly treated poorly by characters like the Greasers and other citizens of Nierberg for being different. Ultimately, that sends a pretty bad message to the show's audience of impressionable children. If you crush old 159, you'll have to crush me and Cat along with it. So where's the downside? Am I missing something here? Stop him like a cockroach! Number 19. Two teenagers are placed in bizarre and grotesque situations. Mr. Meaty. Things just went off the rails in Mr. Meaty. <gasps> This french fry has 10 grains of salt on it! Stop wasting salt! The show is about Josh and Parker, two teenagers working at the fast food joint known as Mr. Meaty. They'd often get into wacky antics, and that's putting it mildly. They've burnt off a co-worker's nose, turned mall shoppers into zombies, and even had a stowaway vampire in their freezer. Hey, help me, Josh! Help me! Oh, her breath smells like the dead! And honestly, that's just scraping the surface. Besides absurdly creepy episodes, of which there are plenty, there are also so many off-putting character designs that the show feels like a fever dream. Yeah, it's okay, buddy. I feel so uh, we'll be right back. So dizzy. Let's get to the kitchen, okay? I'm so dizzy. Yeah. If you were someone traumatized by the show, just know you're not alone. Number 18. A man who can't control his rage picks fights with everyone. Dan versus. Hi, Dan. I just moved in next door. I'm a supermodel. I don't care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes! Sometimes you may feel like the world is against you, but eventually you learn to move past your problems. Well, at least that's the ideal scenario. Unfortunately, that's not always a reality. Just ask Dan. The star of Dan vs. lives a pretty miserable existence. In each episode, he picks fights with just about anything and drags his friends into his messes. I have been wronged. Again. I can't believe it either. I demand vengeance. Who is it this time? The worst, most devious subhuman of them all. The mailman? Close. The wolf man. Sometimes Dan's right to be angry, but he always ends up going overboard in his quest for revenge and never changes, which is pretty sad. In one of the first episodes, he develops a vendetta against the entire state of New Mexico. Characters also get severely injured, and there's almost a blood sacrifice that happens. What was that? Hey, we'd better go check it out. What's the sacrifice? It'll wait 10 minutes. This series stretches the definition of a kid's show. Number 17. A young girl develops superpowers after being exposed to a radioactive substance. The Secret World of Alex Mack. Getting superpowers is awesome. Getting exposed to dangerous chemicals? Eh, not so awesome. Of course you should worry. For all we know, you could have been hit by something that's seeping into your brain cells at this very minute and attacking your central nervous system and you're gonna turn into a quivering mass of jelly. When Alex Mack is nearly run over by a truck, a radioactive substance from the vehicle spills onto her. While she makes it out in the end, Alex discovers she has powers. It might be cool, but it comes with a serious cost. Where did Alex go? Throughout the show, she constantly has to evade the chemical plant that made the substance and keep her powers a secret from her own parents. Have you kids seen Alex? 
Alex, no. Um, apparently she had to stay late after school to try out for the basketball team. Right, right? Right. Basketball? I didn't know she liked basketball. <laughs> Neither did I. That's a lot for a young girl to deal with. Her constant fear of being snatched and experimented on adds a creepy vibe to this show that keeps viewers on edge. Number 16. Monsters scare humans for assignments. Ah, real monsters. Having to do homework can be scary, but what if your homework was to be scary? You also know the results of last week's midterms are in, and you past mongers have really let me down this time. How hard could it be to scare the pants off an eight-year-old? In this show, monsters attend their very own school where they get a quality education in terrifying humans. Besides getting a crash course in how to frighten, these monsters have to regularly travel up to the surface world to scare humans as part of their assignments. The modern education system is haunting enough, so the idea of a school designed solely for monsters to terrify us is pretty cruel. First a tooth fairy, now this. The monsters in training can also give us plenty of nightmares already just by their hideous looks alone. Let's just hope class won't be in session for much longer. What are you looking at? Sorry. Thanks. Number 15. A boy who grew up inside a talking whale joins a creepy pirate in search of treasure. The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. Creepy doesn't even really begin to describe this series. The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack revolves around a boy named Flapjack, Captain Knuckles, and the whale Bubby. We can't be the only ones who thought the idea of a young child living inside of a whale, who is also their adoptive mom, by the way, was odd. Am I in trouble? No, 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 baby. I am not mad at you. <laughs> you better stop poisoning my baby's head! Flapjack probably also should not be hanging around with Captain Knuckles either. He's not exactly a great role model. There's only one way to handle people on the bad side of town. Never do nothing for nobody. And if that doesn't work, call him a sissy. And the more the show went on, the more it weirded us out. She must have laid eggs on my head while I listened to your show! Gross. It did regularly introduce us to some incredibly gross visuals, and why don't we just leave it at that? Trust us when we say you do not want to see what Peppermint Larry looks like when he gets the candy flu. Number 14. Four turtles are mutated by chemical waste and grow up to fight ninjas and other mutants. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles While viewing the adventures of the Ninja Turtles now is usually considered fun for all ages, their story is a little darker than you think. Yeah, we're unbelievable! Jeez, where's your off switch? After all, the original comics they first appeared in were not meant for younger audiences. And that distinctly dark tone was especially reflected in the 2003 cartoon. As per usual, the Turtles, along with their mentor Master Splinter, get transformed after being exposed to mysterious mutagen ooze and grow up to become crime fighters. I took pity in gathering them up in a coffee can. That'd be all well and good if not for the terribly dire situations they so often find themselves in. Anyone else remember that one episode where they were almost dissected? Sorry I can't administer a sedative, but it might corrupt my findings. I can't look! Number 13. Passengers can't leave until they work through their traumas. Infinity Train. Oh, there has to be a way off this train that won't kill me. The Infinity Train is definitely one of the most unique forms of therapy we've seen. It may look like a regular train, but don't let that fool you. Inside are infinite environments of virtually anything you could imagine. Passengers who get picked up are assigned a number that goes up or down depending on their actions as they pass through the cars. The goal is to get the number down to zero so they can leave. Your number's going up. You're losing progress, Miss Tulip. What progress? Spoiler here, but the number basically represents how well they're working through their personal problems. While the train's purpose is technically good, riding this locomotive is an undeniably dangerous experience. Working through unresolved issues is a lot easier said than done, and some traumas can take a lifetime to heal. Nothing will ever change. I'm stuck on this train forever. Number 12. Teenagers are transformed into animals and have to fight brain-rotting parasites. Animorphs. Is it happening? I feel weird. 
This adaptation of the popular Animorphs book franchise arguably might not be the kind of show that could be made today. At least not for an audience of kids. The show follows a group of teenagers who meet an alien and develop the ability to morph into various animals. It's soon up to them to stop an evil species known as the Yerks from conquering Earth. These critters are the worst! They control people by sneaking in through their ears, and yeah, that's pretty nasty. They must have a host to live in. On Earth, their hosts are humans. The fate of the entire world resting in a bunch of teenagers' hands can also be pretty stressful. If you really think about it, they were essentially enlisted into a war overnight. It is done. The power of change is in your flesh. Number 11. Children Solve Crimes with the Help of a Ghost – Ghost Writer Meant to get kids to love reading and writing, Ghost Writer taught us that words definitely have power. The show centered around kids from Brooklyn who essentially became detectives with the help of a ghost named Ghost Writer. Hey, what's Ghost Writer doing? Hmm? Warning, do not overheat. Admittedly, despite having a ghost involved, the show wasn't too haunting. Nobody else sees that. Shh! People will think we're nuts. Don't get us wrong, there were still some creepy moments, like that episode with the slime monster Gooey Gus. Come on! Why you Very funny. Okay, Casey. You guys again. But what really makes this show so disturbing is actually a detail that was shared after it already ended. Kermit Fraser, a writer-slash-producer for the show, revealed that Ghost Rider was originally an enslaved person who was murdered after escaping during the Civil War. It definitely adds a layer of dark realism to everything. Number 10. Psychedelic Blobs Dance Around the Screen – Booba Booba Even the title Booba sounds disturbing and threatening, like an ancient incantation that can raise the dead. In actuality, Booba is just a nonsense word. And the title of this extremely disturbing children's show from the United Kingdom that aired in the early 2000s. The Boobas are terrifying and psychedelic alien creatures, complete with sparkling fur, enormous unblinking eyes, and retractable necks, who do little else but dance around and direct mysterious noises towards each other. While children may enjoy the colors and music, the rest of us are left in horror as we watch the rituals of this weird alien race. Number 9. A Demonic Headmaster Terrorizes the Children of His School – The Demon Headmaster We must set things in motion. Every child thinks that their headmaster or principal is some kind of evil entity, but that is actually the case in The Demon Headmaster, and it is terrifying. This is a show from the UK, and it concerns a student named Dinah Glass who does battle with her titular demon headmaster. He has green eyes, manipulates and controls the students, and eventually tries ruling the world by accelerating evolution and building a hyperbrain. School is supposed to be a sanctuary for children, and the idea of its leader controlling the students and causing them harm is a pretty disturbing concept to imagine, particularly for parents. Yes, I have created you and I shall name you. Number 8. Basically, every story. Goosebumps. <laughs> The 90s were clearly the peak of children's horror. Not only did Are You Afraid of the Dark Air from 1990 to 1996, R.L. Stein also terrified us all with goosebumps throughout the mid to late decade. And let us tell you, most of these stories were downright disturbing, even for adults. These include a haunted mask that molds to the wearer's face, a creepy dummy that terrorizes children, a haunted house that needs blood, and a father who is apparently turning into a plant. We're surprised the children who watched this show turned out okay, because these are some straight-up scary stories. <laughs> Number 7. An Alien Tries to Enslave the Human Race – Invader Zim Watch as I bring a royal audience to the downfall of the human race! The concept of aliens is equal parts terrifying and wondrous to human beings, particularly kids. But in the case of Invader Zim, they are definitely more scary than wonder-inducing. The premise of this unsettling and disturbing show is that an alien named Zim integrates himself into society and attempts to enslave the human race. Zim's pursuits lead him to do some extremely nasty things like plucking out eyes, murdering his classmates, and performing operations we're sure he's not qualified to perform. And to think, this was a cartoon on Nickelodeon. 
I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Number six, a dog is constantly terrorized by paranormal entities. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage. Courage the Cowardly Dog has to be one of the scariest and darkest cartoons of all time. The basic concept of the show is that Courage and his owners, Eustace and Muriel Bag, are tormented by scary supernatural entities. And the cowardly Courage must do what he can to protect them from danger. The pilot episode shows some pretty gruesome imagery involving chickens, and it only gets worse from there. <laughs> These aren't innocent supernatural stories. They are legitimately scary, disturbing, and disgusting stories filled with some blood-freezing imagery that will undoubtedly stick in your mind. We can't imagine how children take to it. Number 5. Alien Creatures Communicate Through Gibberish and Display Human Children in Their Stomachs – Teletubbies Hello. Uh -oh. What is it with children enjoying these freaky alien shows? Teletubbies has always had a bit of a reputation for being creepy. After all, it features strange-looking creatures who speak in alien gibberish and broadcast human children on their stomachs, eat custard, room with an intelligent vacuum cleaner, and live under a sun composed of a human baby's face. Talk about an acid trip. <coughs> the show is well known for its surrealism, and like most surreal fiction, it has a tendency to really get under your skin and creep you out to no end. Artistic? Sure. Disturbing and unsettling? You betcha. Again. Number 4. Two animals are constantly scammed by the devil. Cow and Chicken My science project. While Cow and Chicken is often presented as a comedy, its basic premise is quite disturbing, and the episodes are full of dark humor and unnerving surrealism. For one thing, Chicken and Cow have delirious parents whose upper halves are mysteriously absent, so their home lives are none too happy and more than a little creepy. On top of that, they frequently encounter someone from hell called the Red Guy, also known as the Devil, who obviously does numerous disturbing things like drag chicken to the underworld. One more thing to try, but I can't remember what it is, but it has something to do with your head and this song! It's surreal, it's dark, and it's full of eerie scenes. Seriously, what was with the cartoons of the 90s? Hey, shut up, cow! Mind your own beast! What? Number 3. A boy and his dog live in a post-apocalyptic world. Adventure Time. Adventure Time. Come on, grab your friends. We'll go to very distant land. Adventure Time is very fun, but it's also incredibly dark. The premise of the show is that two best friends, Jake the dog and Finn the human, go on adventures in the post-apocalyptic land of Ooh. While the show is mostly innocent fun, it also features a host of nightmarish villains, including the Lich and Goliad, a creepy baby sphinx hybrid with mind control powers. This castle is in unacceptable condition! Unacceptable! Other monsters include the Earl of Lemongrab, a Frankensteinian creature who's downright horrifying, and mysterious formless beings covered in teeth called Lubglubs. Needless to say, this post-apocalyptic world and the monsters inhabiting it are more than a little spine-chilling. <coughs> Number 2. Two kids hold the Grim Reaper hostage. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Oh, oh, look! It's Santa! It's Santa Claus! The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy certainly are grim, as they contain two extremely disturbing and adult themes, slavery and murder. The two children keep the Grim Reaper as their servant and use his powers for their own means. They also use him to gain access to the underworld, which is filled with suitably unimaginable and nightmarish creatures. Don't be frightened by the look in my eye, I'm just your average evil meteor from out of the sky. Due to his servitude and the kids' manipulation of him, the Grim Reaper often has murderous fantasies. The concept itself is particularly disturbing. But the show is also filled with terrible imagery and situations, making this one of the most disturbing kids' programs. Yeah, terrifying. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. A mentally unstable dog commits horrible acts of violence. The Wren and Stimpy Show. I'm the cat! 
to this day, The Ren and Stimpy Show is known for being one of the darkest and most violent children's cartoons of all time. The show was infamous for being needlessly brutal, and numerous episodes were censored as a result. One episode in particular was banned from airing on Nickelodeon and resulted in the firing of series creator and showrunner John Crisvalusi. While the show received critical acclaim, parents despised the subject matter and it quickly gained a negative reputation for being disgusting and inappropriate. Hi. Is there a dark kid show concept we missed? Disturb us in the comments. Let me give you the whole tour. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.